see, the, like I said, the subject we are trying to handle is a deep subject. It's a vast subject and it's a wide subject. Hearing the voice of God. This is the first level. The first level is having the capacity to discern words that are spirits. These words that are spirit, because God is spirit, He speaks spirit. And when He speaks, there's a stirring in the spirit. And every spiritual entity that is connected to His own framework of life receives the impact of that kind of stirring that takes place on the account of the move of God. So the Bible says that when He entered into the ship, He sighed deeply in his spirit. This sign was not a sign that had any external um, form of implication. It was an interlocked spiritual pressure that Jesus picked in the spirit. And that was an indication of the fact that his father was in motion. He sighed in the spirit and said, Why does this generation seek after his sign? Verily I say unto you, There shall no sign be given unto this generation. The word sign in that scripture, which is the proof of the operation of God uh, that took place there in the Greek is called stenazo. This word stenazo is the same word that is in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 23 to 26. And he sighed deeply in the spirit. Can we do Romans chapter 8? When we do Romans chapter 8 from verse 23 to verse 26, you will see the same sign. It's a spiritual communication. In Romans chapter 8 verse 23, uh, the Bible says, And not only, not only there but ourselves also which are the first fruits of the spirit we ourselves do groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why does he dear hope for but if we hope for that which we see not then do we with patience wait for it 26 likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us in groanings which cannot be uttered. the word stenazo is a word used for groaning in the scripture groaning groaning the spirit itself makes intercessions for us in groanings that cannot be uttered now so this word stenazo is used in reference to a time when God begins to stir our spirits to pray now there is a spiritual sign that you receive in the privacy of your human spirit which is a call to prayer so when we sense that sign and we have perfected uh, the meaning of that sense anytime it comes it's a call to prayer that is locked up in the privacy of the human spirit that is the first spirit to spirit communication that God drives God is spirit and God, when He wants us to respond to Him, He has some spirit-based communication. And we are using uh, these Greek words in order to try to understand the substance of those communications. And then we draw it to all the scriptures where it was used, and then we'll be able to understand the concept that is communicated by God. And in the case of Stenazo, it is a call to the place of groaning. It's a communication, a frequency, a transmission that the Holy Spirit makes available when He is administering a call to prayer. Now, you see, the thing about spiritual communications is um, many times when we don't understand what 
the communication is about, we stand to despise that communication and a whole graphic move of God is lost in our inability to design what God meant by a spiritual sign. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2 and verse 4, we still see the use of the same word. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 2. It says, For in this, or in this tabernacle, or in this body, we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. 